OK, folks, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how we can hide and unhide rows in Microsoft Excel. Now, similar to our columns lecture, where I showed you how we can hide and unhide columns, we can do the same for rows too. Now, again, the reasons why we would want to hide rows are pretty much the same as why we would want to hide columns. And that is, for example, to make your view of the data easier or cleaner to actually see. Also, you may not want to print out all the rows for whatever reason. Now, in terms of hiding the rows, the method is exactly the same way that you used to hide columns in the previous lecture. And again, in terms of revealing the hidden rows, the methods are exactly the same. I.e. the first one is you can drag out the row using the mouse. The second method is to select the hidden row via the mouse and then right click and unhide. And the third method is selecting the surrounding rows via the mouse and right clicking and unhiding. Now, overwhelmingly, folks, you will see that method three is the easiest. Also, just to clarify, you can have both rows and columns hidden at the same time. So they're not mutually exclusive. You can do both at the same time. OK, so just to give you an example of us hiding rows, what I'm going to do is basically select this row here, number four, and hide it. So now that I've got it selected, I just right click over it and go to hide there. And you can see that we've got two parallel lines going horizontally. So just to compare it to the previous lecture where we had two parallel lines going vertically, that was for the columns. And because this is rows going across, the two lines appear horizontal. OK, now to unhide our hidden row, using the first method, what you need to do is simply click on one of the parallel lines and then just drag it out. So like this. There. Now, I'm just going to hide it again and show you the second method. So this is to select the hidden row via the mouse and then right click and unhide. Now, folks, because of the way the rows are situated on the spreadsheet, it's actually a bit more harder to actually locate that hidden row, but it is possible to do it. There. You see that, folks? You can see that similar to our columns lecture where we selected the hidden column and we got a thick line going down, we've also got this thick line going across here. OK, now that I've selected it, I'm going to go to unhide. There. So that's the second method. Now let's try the third method. OK, so I'm going to select rows three, going to row five. And then right click and then just go unhide. You see that, folks? Now, when I did the second method, it actually took me more than one attempt to locate that hidden row. And that's, again, because of the way the rows are on the spreadsheet. It's just a bit harder to locate with your mouse in terms of accuracy. So the method I recommend to use is basically method three. It's much more easier to select the surrounding rows and then right click and then go unhide than it is to try and locate that hidden row and try and click to get that thick line. Now, again, you can have more than one row hidden. And all you have to do if they're sequential, for example, is just simply highlight whichever rows you want hidden. Right click and then go hide. And you can have both rows and columns hidden at the same time. So, for example, if I hid rows four to six and then I wanted D and E hidden, I could do that. There. You see that, folks? And similarly, when I go to the print preview, only what's visible will be shown. And as you can see, our two columns have been hidden and are not showing, as well as our rows. OK. So that concludes this lecture. We have seen how we can hide and unhide rows, and it's pretty much the same as what you do for columns. Now, in terms of the methods used to reveal the hidden rows, it's exactly the same 
as the methods that you use for revealing hidden columns. However, I do recommend method three as being your preferential method that you use to unhide the rows, just because it's much more easier to do than methods one and two. Similarly, for hiding rows, again, it's exactly the same way in terms of the methodology that you use for hiding columns. And both rows and columns can be hidden at the same time. And when you do do that, folks, whether you hide a row, column, or both, it will be reflected when you do your print preview in terms of it won't show. Now, if there are any questions or queries, please do feel free to reach out. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture.